The RECA building on South Champion Street in downtown Youngstown has seen some major improvements in the last year or so. A colorful mural was added to the exterior last fall. Today, First News Weekend anchor Megan Lee takes us on an exclusive tour of the interior. An elevator built in the 1920s takes us floor by floor in the Rika building, which sits on South Champion Street Sunday afternoon. However, due to building codes, this elevator will be removed come June 15th. Building owner and investor Tim Huber was... On the hunt to find a project where I could um, find a residency, I could, I could uh, uh, develop it to so try to take something from totally old and bring it to the new. Huber bought the building in 2021 from longtime owner Richard Mills. Plenty of work had to be done both internally and externally to preserve its history. And we had to do a lot of what we call brick pointing, where we take the bricks, make sure that there's nothing loose, nothing, nothing that's going to fall down. The roof, making sure that the roof is, is stable. Um, so really working on the outside of the bones and, and, and working in. While Huber toured me around his building, he pointed out the new windows. Over 60 windows that needed to be replaced. So that was, um, that was a, a really a critical emergency because we had glass flying out of the windows. As far as exterior painting goes. I think the outside was so cool because it drew a little bit of attention for what is to come now. Pat McGlone is responsible for the Greek god Apollo with Youngstown Hints mural on the Rika building. He's also helping Huber on the interior painting. He had plans to paint the interior and we're going to be doing um, most of that uh, as well as some, uh, some fun projects for some of the residencies as well. So what is going to be inside of the Rika building? The soap gallery, which occupied part of the first floor for about eight years, packed up its belongings and moved out Sunday. And we are going to be making a, a, a high-end event center here. So this event center will hold 120, 130 people. Huber, one of the partners for the downtown restaurant Prima Cucina, is having chef Josh Santangelo as the executive chef for the Apollo Event Center. But we also will let other caterers use the spot also. The other floors will be home to a private residence, an architect firm, and a private residence for a business to house out-of-town executives. Huber says his team of contractors, electricians, and painters make this whole project possible. He tells me he's happy to put money into the city of Youngstown. I, I invest in downtown Youngstown is because I believe in downtown Youngstown. I had a career 20 years traveling the country, and I've went to every city between here and Kansas City. And people don't know that what we have here in Youngstown is, is, is a jewel. He says a positive attitude about the city is where it all starts. In Youngstown, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.